today I wanted to go through my copper route and what I do when I want to look around and try and farm some copper. So we're going to be starting at over here, the agricultural supplier, and from the starting zone, lion hold. Here's lion hold. Here. When you come out of the gate, you can either go left or right. You go left, you go to Simon's Hope. You go right, you go to Lion Hold. And then from there, you just want to head across the river to the west. And the route we're going to be taking here is we're going to be circling this point of interest. And the good thing about this is there's stone walls all around it. And all there's like these rocks that are from the elevation. And that's kind of where we're going to be looking or along the river for copper nodes. So let's start. All right, I'm gonna to head to the right side of it. And along the way, since I, if whatever I, since whatever I mine will probably not respawn by the time I come back around, I'm gonna mine some full-sized or adult trees. And then on the way back, since I don't need the the timber myself at this moment, I'm just gonna sell it for some money. Oh, I just found a ruby. It's actually quite handy. And keep in mind, this is not the best way to farm copper. I don't know what the best way to farm copper is, more iron. But this is what I do, and this is what I've been finding. So, also, there's not too many people that I see running around and mining things here. So, if things do spawn, it's generally uncontested. Now, copper is probably something that you want to focus on towards the start because you need copper and copper fragments to be able to make all the novice tools. And I have got the novice lumberjack axe, and the novice pickaxe, and hunting bow for hunting animals. The main thing is that you're upgrading is not the speed increase because realistically that's like hardly anything and you're not going to notice the difference, but it's the durability. On these novice tools, it's 150 durability compared to the just beginning the crude versions, the ones you get from the intro quest, where it's 60. Also, my computer is not like up to date with equipment and whatnot, so I'm, I'm playing this game on low. Um, but it is still playable, but you're not going to see the best, the best graphics from this. Alright, so now you can either loop back around, you can check up on this outcropping, there's some sapphire or you can go around here sometimes you see things here you see slate alcyonite iron do lots of iron hmm alcyonite yeah but anyway now we're back to the start and from here you can go again i will probably go around in more times off camera and just show what I've got it. So I've been around this little root circuit four times now and I got quite some good loot and some runs I got pretty much nothing. So like uh, on the second route, second run around, I got no copper at all, no rubies, just about nothing. I think I got two zinc and on the third time around I got like 25 copper. So we've got four rare ruby and this is from four goes around my route, the Church of the Seven stars. 35 common copper, 2 common ruby, 17 common zinc, 
10 uncommon copper to epic ruby. This one was really cool when I found it. Anyway, five common, a uh, five rare copper. Now, if you don't know how the rarities work, you can always go to a, a crafting station. Let's say this one here. This is for animal husbandry. And you can see the rarities here. So it goes common, uncommon, rare, then heroic, then epic, then legendary. Yep. So, so that's my copper slash ruby farming route that I normally do. Now, this isn't the best, you know, you're not, you're not min-maxing your time probably by doing this, but also it's the best thing that I have found. So if you have another way, that's totally fine. But if you if you don't, if you're struggling to find copper, if you're struggling to find ruby, this is what I would suggest starting off with because it is really close to all the beginning crafting uh, vendors and also the beginning zone, the line hold. 